Many have called for a state of emergency, thinking it is necessary for the deployment of an army. But this is not the case. And more importantly, a state of emergency will severely impact ordinary citizens' lives. The declaration of a state of emergency is provided for in the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. But due to its severe effects on basic human rights and its impact on democratic institutions, albeit temporarily, it is a measure that is not intended to apply to the worst-case scenario. Rather, such declaration, even in the worst-case scenario, will only be valid if there are no other ways to effectively deal with the threat. The requirements for a state of emergency are contained in Section 37.1 of the Constitution, which states that a state of emergency can only be declared when the life of the nation is threatened by war, invasion, general insurrection, disorder, natural disaster, or other public emergency, and when the declaration is necessary to restore peace and order. Section 37 also contains a test for the declaration of a state of emergency. And this test is done by asking whether, objectively speaking, the life of the nation is truly threatened and whether the declaration is in fact necessary to restore peace and order. The constitution itself makes it clear, emergency regulations limit or suspend most of the rights guaranteed in the Bill of Rights. This means, for example, shutting down the internet or social media websites, imposing other forms of censorship, including a ban on quoting specific individuals, banning all gatherings or political meetings, detention without trial of anyone suspected of involvement in the insurrection or protest, and prohibition on access to specified information held by the state. All this suggests that states of emergencies should really only be ever declared in the most extreme situations. Currently in South Africa, even if one accepts that the prescribed conditions for a declaration of a state of emergency are present in KwaZulu-Natal, it might not be wise to declare one. Such a declaration might embolden police officers and soldiers to use brute force when it is not required or permitted. This may lead to the terrorism of members of the public, whether they are innocent bystanders or participants in the mayhem. Such a declaration also runs the risk of further eroding the authority of the state and of the current government and of fomenting more dissatisfaction and resistance. So let us take a moment to objectively consider whether there are alternative ways of responding to the current crisis. I do believe a sober reflection of the law will make it clear to us all that a declaration of state of emergency is not appropriate at this particular time. Jakob Tobias for CRI Radio News.